The next topic is information security development trends. Let's look at the Gartner's top 10 security technologies. Now, Gartner's actually came up with the uh, top 10 security technologies, which includes the um, uh, remote browser, deception, endpoint detection and response, container security, cloud workload protection platforms, software defined parameters, managed detection and response, cloud access security brokers, network traffic analysis and micro segmentation. So let's talk about some of the feature. For example, the definition for the cloud workload protection platforms. This is the definition provided by Gartner is abstract and complex. In a simple terms, the CWPP is a platform that protects services running on the public cloud and the private cloud. The current practice is to deploy an agent at all operating system of the services to communicate with the management console. In this way, a distributed monitoring and centralized management client server architecture is formed, allowing OM personnel to conveniently monitor the security status of multiple hosts at the same time and deliver the handling policy. Now, the next, we talk about the remote browser. Now, Reboot Browser is a technology that isolates the web page browsing session from the endpoint. For example, the simplest way is to adopt graphical login to remotely log in to a host and then to browse the web page on the host. Due to the isolation of the web browser by the lo uh, graphical login, even if the browser is attacked, it will not harm the endpoint of the user. So it's just like uh, you're performing the remote uh, desktop connection to a remote place, and then you browse from the remote place. Um, after the browser, after the browsing is completed, the host that perf performs the browsing task can be reset to the safety state. This technology can provide as a services and relies on the virtualization technology. Enterprises lease remote browsing server and provide uh, this uh, provide and, and provider maintain the browser servers. Okay, this is a very interesting concept. Right, the next technology that let's talk about is the uh, deception. Now, deception is actually a number of fake server are deployed in an enterprise to decoy or to mislead the attacker to incorrectly judge the internal network topology of an enterprise. So that means uh, is to deceive the uh, attacker and to, 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 to deceive the attacker thinks that the, the internal network uh, has a couple of uh, different servers uh, and uh, in turn increasing attack cost and effectivity. If an attacker or the intrud intrudes into the fake server, and alarm will be generated. A fake server can even be directly embedded into a switch. Okay, so this is the uh, a deception where you can actually fake uh, to the uh, uh, attacker. All right, so let's talk about the endpoint detection and response. Um, the endpoint detection and response are typically the uh, software uh, that's deployed on the client side. Uh, examples such as the antivirus uh, software or maybe some of the um, uh, a part of the antivirus software on the um, client PC. Uh, the endpoint software also performs something like the personal firewall or the, uh, the endpoint firewall or endpoint intrusion detection. Um, so this is actually for the endpoint uh, to detect and also to respond. Um, <coughs> The next is, um, let's talk about the network uh, traffic uh, uh, analysis. Now this technology detects, okay, network traffic analysis detects abnormal traffic data through all round enterprise or campus traffic monitoring and the big data analysis technology. So all the network traffic, all the data traffic can be analyzed uh, through the big data um, technologies. So for example, the technology mirrors all the traffic that pass through the switches. Uh, example, the core switch. Um, so the core switch will pass one of the copies, or we call it the mirroring copy, to the analysis uh, device for comprehensive decoding and statistical analysis. 
the technology then visualize and display the data to allow administrator to intuitively view the security posture of the entire network. Now let's talk about the future development trends of security protection. Uh, one of the major trends for today in terms of security uh, is the security as uh, services. And then we have the uh, endpoint, um, sorry, security as a services is something like what we've known in the current industry where we have something called the uh, infrastructure as a services. So that means that somebody can actually rent the in, uh, infrastructure, the server, uh, the storage uh, at the cloud. So today we can also rent uh, the security uh, as a service. And then we also uh, probably you guys heard about the platform as a service, uh, software as a services, for example, the uh, CRM software uh, or maybe the email software like the uh, Office 365. Uh, so all these are actually kind of a software as a services and and the future trend is coming uh, we have a security as a services and then we have the uh, endpoint detection also increasing important uh, we mentioned about endpoint uh, detection uh, traffic control uh, so we have actually gone with the days with uh, if you want to set a policy uh, it's no longer just for like a uh, IP address to a certain IP address uh, kind of a, a permission control or the policy control and today is more like the application uh, so we want to control by application for example we want to deny our user to use the uh, BitTorrent software uh, in, in the organization and uh, maybe we want to allow a uh, user to use a certain type of application so because today uh, pretty much all the application go through HTTP uh, protocol and then we have the software defined security protection uh, protection solution. Um, now gone with the days where security has to be in the form of uh, physical hardware. And uh, so in the in the coming future, uh, security appliances will be in actually uh, software form. So trend number one, uh, security as a services. So this is actually the uh, uh, the client actually. Uh, sorry, the company can actually subscribe to the uh, security as a services. So anything that the traffic that needs to go to internet uh, will have to go through a kind of a reverse proxy. And this reverse proxy will actually send all your uh, traffic, the user traffic in the organization uh, to perform a security check uh, service. Okay, so in, in the security check, uh, they actually will detect uh, any abnormal activities uh, before the traffic uh, will then go to internet. Okay, so this is and then after that, uh, the uh, uh, this kind of uh, services can actually provide a, a very good, comprehensive uh, traffic report uh, to show the uh, company uh, management team about uh, what kind of traffic uh, which is going on in your in your company and uh, what is the uh, top ten traffic. Uh, maybe is is there any uh, malicious activities, uh, so all these can be generated, and what kind of files uh, will be downloaded and things like that. Uh, trend number two: endpoint detection increasingly uh, important. Um, so this is uh, so example. Like I said earlier, endpoint is about the software which is installed, uh, kind of like uh, antivirus software or personal firewall software that is installed on the uh, PC side. Uh, so this kind of software can also help to detect uh, malicious uh, file, uh, which is all the, the malware, and also to detect uh, the uh, command and control anomalies. Uh, anomalies. So these, these are actually kind of the, 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 the behavior uh, about the, the PC. Uh, if the PC misbehaves, or maybe the PC tries to uh, attack some of the uh, another other PC within the organization, and so all this uh, uh, all this uh, traffic can then be recorded, and then uh, the uh, endpoint software uh, can correlate the uh, C two C, uh, which is a command and uh, control attack source IP address, and also they can also check out the uh, IP address of the infected endpoint. If this guy attacks somebody we can also tell which other PC has been affected and then from there we can uh, trace back to the first infected endpoint, the source. Okay, And also from the uh, malicious uh, file 
of the MD5, we can also try to correlate uh, from this uh, uh, viruses file or the malware, uh, wh which are the affected files has been uh, has been affected by the, uh, the the malware. Okay, so this is all can, uh, has to be done by the endpoint uh, the file the, the the software. Okay, so we have we will go through the file scanning process to detect the malicious behavior uh, monitoring. And then uh, we can gather information like the his historical information uh, tracing, abnormal behavior detection, and also the network device, uh, the internet world, so which PC has been affected. Uh, trend number three is about traffic control. Uh, like I said earlier, um, so today is no longer just about controlling, setting the firewall policy based on the uh, the, the quintuple control, which is uh, source IP, destination IP uh, to control, source port, destination port, uh, and also the uh, protocol type. These are the, the five uh, different elements. Uh, today, the uh, traffic is a lot more complicated than, than just the source destination IP. Uh, we need to also detect what kind of traffic or what kind of the traffic. For example, like if this tr is, is the traffic uh, uh, is the user traffic going to Facebook? Okay, or is is this a traffic which is a, a chatting software which is installed on the uh, a, a client a PC, uh, or, or maybe uh, in terms of permission, uh, we want to allow uh, which user to use a chatting software to uh, to allow them to use Facebook because some of the uh, the user are in charge of uh, uploading. Uh, the company's uh, f information to Facebook and uh, and things like that. So, so today we need to have a level seven application track control. It's no longer just like controlling uh, what IP address uh, source and destination IP. Um, in terms of the um, the appliances uh, of the software, we also have the anti-spam control, which is to check the uh, email. Uh, to see which uh, to classify the email with uh, with either either the, the email is spam or a legitimate email, DDoS attack, dis uh, distributed denial of services, uh, VPN traffic, intrusion prevention system traffic, um, the antivirus URL uh, control, uh, and also the deep level uh, packet inspection. So trend number four software defined security solution. Uh, so for Huawei we call this software defined security. Okay. Uh, so for Huawei we do actually offer all this uh, solution. Uh, at the lowest layer uh, we call this uh, the enforcer. Uh, enforcer we have uh, routers uh, can act as the enforcer, uh, our Wi-Fi uh, access point, access controller, our uh, application routers, our switches, uh, the firewall, virtual firewall, uh, anti-DDoS, uh, distributed firewall, uh, the third-party security products, everything can be integrated uh, to, uh, uh, con uh, so to a single uh, controller. Okay, uh, So this controller, we, ha we have two types of controllers here. Uh, one is the uh, uh, secure, secure uh, manager and this is actually a controller basically is to manage all the uh, file uh, the security appliances such as the firewall anti ddos and also the uh, the vpn uh, ssl appliances example uh, the agile controller is basically the one that uh, to control the uh, user uh, policy right the group policy and etc okay um, so the um, and then the, we also pass a, a copy of the uh, traffic uh, to the analyzer. Uh, so in, in this example, we have the CIS and also the uh, Fire Hunter. And uh, for Fire Hunter, we actually connect to the Global Security Intelligence Center. And this is the place where they actually can send the uh, the patterns of uh, of uh, attack. And uh, so with the Global Security Intelligence uh, Center, we get a all the patterns throughout the whole world and from there we can actually tell we can actually easily learn a new pattern which is uh, uh, generated by the the hackers or the attacker um, so ONM intelligence uh, service driven uh, policy management 
so this is um, from the uh, manual O&M to become uh, intelligent operation and maintenance uh, and automated services provision for all the tenants so for example if uh, if this is uh, if this is for the cloud provider point of view uh, anytime when there's a new tenant that wanted to subscribe to to your services uh, and they want to include the security uh, into the uh, services like for example infrastructure as a services and um, we can easily provision that means we can actually automatically uh, provision a, a virtual firewall uh, to the uh, subscriber okay and based on the automatic mapping services and also the policy everything is automated uh, and also handling in terms of handling uh, in intelligence uh, we have a cyber security a collaboration uh, single points defense, uh, network wide associative defense, uh, sub security service uh, uh, orchestration. Uh, orchestration is basically uh, from uh, from the, uh, the the same controller. We can actually manage a uh, multiple uh, uh, device uh, at the same time. Okay, um, and uh, detection intelligence. The, this is actually the detection uh, area, and uh, this is uh, based on the AI base artificial intelligence auto learning and detection of threats from reactive to proactive defense okay so reactive basically means uh, after the uh, the attack happens um, we actually tend to look for the solution okay so the proactive defense is basically uh, the artificial intelligence will learn from time to time uh, to see if there's a pattern changes uh, it, uh, or maybe the traffic behavior changes in the organization and then they actually will, will, will give the alert. So Huawei is the third generation the sandbox uh, based on deep neural uh, network algorithm. So we uh, as, a, as a Huawei uh, third generation of products uh, we actually do have a sandbox to actually uh, analyze the uh, uh, there's, a, there's a deep neural uh, network algorithm to, to pick up the, uh, the traffic, the kind of traffic. Right, so we come to the end uh, of the, the topic. Uh, so now let's look at the uh, quiz question. Uh, which of the followings are the key elements of information security uh, protection? Okay, so the answer is uh, A, uh, security. Um, so the answer is uh, A, uh, security, uh, operation and maintenance, maintenance and management. Um, C, security products and technologies and D, the people, okay? Now remember, these are the three uh, key elements, okay? Uh, question two, which of the following password settings is more secure? Okay, <laughs> now obviously, answer is the, the most complex one, which is based on digits, uh, letters, uh, letters also with uh, capital letters and the small letters, and also some special characters, such as the percentage, dollar sign, uh, carrot and etc etc okay so uh, so summary uh, in this uh, chapter uh, we actually learn some of the basic elements of the security threat defense we also spoke about the importance of the information security awareness uh, in um, in terms of security protection and also the future development trends of the information security thank you